welcome back to They Did What? Your source of the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story title. Am I the a-hole for thinking about breaking up with my girl because she doesn't want to have SDX before marriage? And guys, this is about a guy, I'm guessing he's about 30 years old now. And as you're going to see, he's been with this girl for a number of years. And guess what? He ain't getting any. At all. And yet, he sticks around. And you're going to see even more, all the crap he endures. All because he's in love, which is ridiculous. However, you're going to see ultimately this guy makes the right decision. Hallelujah. But... The time that is wasted here. And I'll be going to go over here, guys, that if you are in a relationship and you and there's things you want and your needs aren't being met, whatever they are, and those needs are reasonable needs, you need to break up. Because the odds are she simply just doesn't value you. She doesn't love you, doesn't care about you, may claim she does, but her actions say otherwise. Always pay attention to actions. Life is short. You got to do what you want to do is best for you. And of course, I don't mean being harmful. But uh, you're going to see here exactly what this guy wastes. But hopefully, well, as you're going to see, she's going to be toast. But this guy has to go through a whole lot of BS along the way. And you guys are going to see the BS he goes through. So hopefully those of you that are relationship guys learn from this. So that doesn't happen to you one day. Otherwise, you'll be the same type of guy. He says, uh, hey, people, I'm very conflicted about something right now, and I can't sleep over it. I'm 29 years old, and my girlfriend is 25. We've been dating for four plus years now. We love each other very much, and everything is great except one thing. What? You discovered she's a dude? I uh, understand and respect her religious beliefs, and even accepted all her conditions and religious rituals for potential future marriage-related things. You can see where this is going. I, want, I wanted to meet her family for a long time. She met my family, yet she didn't take any steps towards that either. She also does not want to stay overnight, but she is okay and loves to come, come over to commit light sexual activities that do not include any penetration. Translation, he's been with her for four years and he's never gone all the way. Never actually had sex. And she doesn't want him to meet her family. Uh, no thanks. I don't care how pretty she is and how sweet she is and all these other things. No, 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 no. Guys, if you want to hook up, then I feel like I'm sacrificing too much without getting anything back in return, says many guys out there, and she knows it. Committing myself between the ages of 25 to 35 to a single woman without having any sex sounds too harsh to my ears, and I need some opinions on this matter. I really love this girl, and we've gone through so much, but I can't get over these issues. Then break up with her. There are other women out there. Come on here, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, she knows it. She knows you. Ha she has you wrapped around your finger, her finger, and this is what you get. Okay, it, it, look, here's the deal. If she truly is a virgin and wants to stay that way until marriage, okay, that's her business. That's allowed. Hell, a lot of guys would like that. But if you want to have sex as is healthy, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this because because you're religious and you're allowed you're entitled to your religious beliefs, but having that in a healthy relationship is okay. Then you are allowed to move on. So don't blame her, blame yourself. She comes from a religious family and doesn't want to have SCX before marriage. I totally understand and respect this, but she also doesn't want a marriage, even though we've been together for four years. And according to her, it'll be at least another three to four years before her marriage becomes viable. So she wants to wait until she's like 30 years old before she does this. At 25 years old, she can get married. A lot of women are more than happy to do it. So she, so you haven't gotten any for four years, and now she wants to string things on for another four years? You, you getting any? Are you fucking kidding me? But she knows. She knows this guy isn't going anywhere. And what do you want to bet behind the scenes? Well, you know. Uh, also, she also does not want to stay overnight, etc. But she's okay and loves me to come over to, for light sexual activities that do not include any penetration. Okay, so you get the motorboat, you get, you get some motorboat action, right? Or, I don't know, I mean, we can all use our imagination as a description of light activities here. Is it, does anything involve this package? Uh, since some of you have asked, here's more information that may be relevant. Okay, number one. She stated that she would reject me if I proposed to her since she doesn't feel ready yet. She's telling you she'll reject you if you propose because she's not ready yet. Even together four fucking years and she's not ready yet. Bro, 
Have some self-respect. Get the fuck out of there. Find a gal that actually would be enthusiastic and happy you propose. She wants to sort things out in her life. Live alone and work and provide for herself for a while before marrying. She's never lived alone and worked the day before. She said she would tell me when the time is right so I can propose then. <laughs> uh, bro. Two, the reason she never worked is complicated. Oh, I'm sure that's what she said. Her father got sick two years ago and they had been taking care of him since. Father needs light medical care. It is not like he needs 24-7 full attention. Girlfriend is able to go to different cities for a few days, weeks, etc. just to see some family members, so she is not completely immobile. Three, I never tried to push my way through her and expected her to give me, give me, me having sex. I always said I wanted to have intercourse myself, but I also said I was fully okay even if she wanted to have no acts whatsoever, which she rejected because she wanted to have some activity, but just not penetration. Four, I live alone and work my own job and do not provide anything to her or her family. Even though I'm not rich, I can provide for myself. Her family also doesn't need any external providers and are well off, with a beautiful house and several cars. They can easily live without working for years. Her older brother, who's 32, has been doing this for about two years now, despite him being married and having a child and a father being sick. They, they just do not care about money and have enough to care about it for some decades. People that don't care about money have money. That's the point. If you don't care about money, oh, no big deal, then guess what? You come from a family that is fucking loaded. Five, I'm not celibate. I've had I've had sex before with my ex-girlfriends. Then end it with her. Move on to another one. I mean, what the fuck, dude? Are you with her because she's just so sweet and beautiful? I'm sure you can find some sweet and beautiful girls out there. Is it because her family's loaded? Well, make your own fucking money. Six, the reason she did not make me meet her parents, there is none. Really, she says she would, she'd feel nervous and her family may have, may have pushed her into marriage sooner if that happens. Bullshit. A woman that truly loves her guy wants to show him off, wants him to meet the family. She doesn't want to show you off and there's a reason for that. Or maybe there's another guy on the side. Seven. Of course he's spoken about this before. It's not like I waited for four years just to think about all this stuff now. Whatever we talk about, whenever we talk about these issues, she says she feels nervous and needs time. She's happy to have me in her life, and I'm giving her strength when she needs it most, and she cannot bear losing me, and that's it. Dude, you need to end it with her. And I'm, will, I'm willing to bet you guys, if this guy said, you know what, this is not working out, and even is, does a nice breakup, I bet you all of a sudden, magically, she'd be willing to introduce you to the family, all of a sudden she'd be willing to do overnight sleepovers, and all of a sudden she'd be ready to do a whole lot more than light S-word activity. This is what happens when a girl has all the power and has no respect for the guy. All in all, your comments have made me realize that perhaps she and I are just too far apart from each other mentally and she doesn't see me as the right person or is not committed to this relationship as much as myself. You think? She has all the power. That ain't a good thing. She's completely in control of this relationship. You are so into this relationship and she's not into Look at her actions. It always boils down to her actions. She may cry, cry and say that she doesn't want to lose you, but her behavior certainly shows she can give a shit. He says here, uh, Sorry about not posting any updates, even though I promised one. I'll write one in a few days, blah, blah, blah. Well, now, here's his update. And this is where many of you guys that he's driving you crazy, eventually our guy will handle things right. It says, thanks for the huge interest in my last post. Your comments and messages really helped me to see the bigger picture. To show how much I appreciate it, I donated one try for each comment. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean with Reddit. My main point on the original post was my girlfriend denying me sex for four years due to religious reasons, while still being okay with doing some activities, but no penetration whatsoever, which is a hypocrisy if you're looking at things from a religious perspective. <laughs> Well, let's be honest here. A lot of so-called religious folks can be quite hypocritical, as I have found. And I'm sure many of you have found, too. One of the details that I have not given much importance until you guys pointed out is that she was hiding me from her parents and relatives. That doesn't seem so hard to figure as a red flag to me. I always thought this was simply a cultural religious thing. So I finally decided to confront my girl about all this on the, on the original post. But oh behold, something even more baffling happened before I even had the chance to confront her. Oh, imagine that. 
I did not know any of my girlfriend's family members except for her sister and two cousins that are my age. For reference, their family is huge, and she has about 15 cousins. So this is the family he said that they obviously have so much money they don't have to worry about money. Like mon money's no big deal to them, and they have an enormous family. Now I think he said I believe he mentions later that they are Muslim, and they are from the obviously the Muslim world. So. It's possible maybe they're connected to the oil industry or something along those lines. They're very wealthy. Uh, the family's huge. She has 15 cousins. With all the aunts and uncles, etc., they have easily 100 plus members. One of her cousins recently got married, and that cousin invited me to her wedding since I personally knew both them and the group. So, this is the first time meeting the family, except from a few cousins after like fucking five years. 100 plus members in the family. My girlfriend simply denied me entry. Yep, according to her, her family could not accept seeing someone with, with her that is not officially tied, tied to her yet. <laughs> oh my god. She wouldn't let you go to the wedding? Yeah. I, how do you know that she isn't... Um, it's possible an arranged marriage. She has an arranged marriage with somebody else, but she's with this guy on the side. Who knows? Meanwhile, her other cousin was able to bring his girlfriend a six months just fine, without anybody even objecting to anything. I was furious, and she, she told me that this is how things are in their culture, and since her cousin was male, it was okay for him to bring a girl, but since my girlfriend is female, it was not okay for her to bring his boyfriend. It's possible that, you know, in that culture, there's obviously different rules for the women. I mean, I mean seriously, very likely, but there's just too many red flags that just don't add up. And at the end of the day... She could be breaking – Here we all know the, the joke. We're, girls break the rules for the betas. No, no. Girls break the rules for the alphas and make rules for the betas. What do you think that she sees this guy? If she saw this dude as a, as a, as a prize, believe me, there would be a whole lot of rolling in the hay. And I've heard in some cultures, some women will – how can I put this delicately so I don't get in trouble with you two? Uh, they'll remain virgins in one area. But they'll not be virgins in other areas, so they can essentially a loophole, a loophole with a poop hole, so they can pleasure their guy, keep him around, but therefore on the, on the wedding day, technically, she's a virgin. This guy be getting some if she saw him as a prize. <clears throat> After hiding me from his relatives, she said, since I was a believer of another religion, he says, well, I'm an atheist, so you can say non-believer instead. Her family would not accept me, and I need to hide my beliefs and act as if I'm one of them. She also said I need to participate in a rel religious ritual for marriage when the time comes, which includes bowing, praying, kneeling, putting hands in the holy book, making a financial promise in front of everyone. That simply is not me, and I cannot do this. Well, it would been nice to know this four plus years ago. She said this is non-negotiable, and her family would not even be open to the talk about not doing this. That may be truth to that, but at the end of the day, she can say non-negotiable to this guy. According to her, this should be no problem for me since I'm a non-believer anyway and simply can just chalk it up. That's the thing. For those that believe that there is nothing, they're atheists, just suddenly can you marry a girl and you're going to convert to her faith even though you don't believe anything, that's a problem for them. She uh, and her family then would accept me with open arms and we'd be able to do everything together including sexual intercourse. Well, there you go. That's the carrot at the end of the stick for him. Still, I would need to, hu to hide that I'm an atheist forever, though. Guys, I've been dating this girl for five years now. Smack! You're an idiot, dude. <clears throat> Apart from everything we shared with this girl, I was a big supporter of their family in the darkest days when no one else in their family even cared. Her sick father is partly alive thanks to me, since only I had enough connections and care to bring expensive lysa me medicine from abroad. I work in the international pharmaceutical companies for years, not to mention me traveling and staying for a month halfway across the country just to be close with her when her father was hospitalized in a remote facility when no one in their family visited. I was still not shown to her family even on that situation. If this family has so much money. Why can't they get this guy the proper care? Why can't he get medicine and pharmaceuticals from across? That's the part that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. After my confrontation and standoff, she asked me for some time and accepted to give some ground and told me she'd consider arranging a meeting between her brother and me. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is the part where he's backing away and all of a sudden she's starting to make concessions. Yes, five years in and her brother still does not even know my name to this day. 
and also a meeting between me and her mother. Her mother knows me but get, ignores me even though I've been a big helper of their family. Dude, what the fuck is a This is an example, guys, what happens with men that don't have a mentor that are just in la-la land when it comes to, when it comes to women. Newsflash, women don't respect weak guys. Weak guys are compliant, bossed around, let her dictate things. Of course she doesn't want to sleep with this guy. I mean, I can't blame her in some areas, to be perfectly honest. I even sent small gifts to her on the Mother's Day, which is a kind tra traditional gesture, but I was not even contacted by her once, and nothing happened. When I last visited her city, her mother simply vanished for three to four days because one of their far, far relatives had died. No, fun no funeral lasts four days here. No funeral lasts four days, but someone could stay with the family for a few days. Her brother simply acknowledged my existence and the only interaction between him and I so far as that he asked my girlfriend if I can develop mobile apps or not for a project. That is it. I'm not, even, I'm, I'm not even an app developer and the whole thing feels wrong on so many levels. And yet you keep sticking around, dipshit. About sex. She said she'd be more open to try it and nothing happened again. Of course it didn't happen again because you stuck around. She knew you didn't mean it. when you. She knew you were bluffing. She called your bluff. That's what nice guys do. They bluff and there's nothing to back things up. Well, she said that we could try even before anything happened. I saw that she was way too uncomfortable. I found it wrong to do anything sexual in this state at all and told her I'm, not, I'm no grapist and these kind of things only happen with mutual eagerness and consent is present. So I simply hugged her and told her we can try it another time when she's ready. Of course you did. Now, of course, you don't want to put yourself in a situation you can be accused of some things, but still. Does this woman in any way show any enthusiasm for this guy? None. And again, well, you can't really blame her, given how he's acting. <coughs> uh, this thing happened about three, three more times in three separate days. Or should I say five years, three days. I recommended therapy, yet I was ignored yet again. At this point, I asked to take a break from the relationship three times and asked for the break four times. You don't ask to break up. You break up. That's what someone with balls and integrity does. You know, can we break up? Can we take a break? This guy is just a pussy. No women don't, women don't respect pussies. She rejects this, of course. I don't think that's how it works out, though, and gets so angry And when she hears anything about a breakup. Oh, no, you don't want to make her mad. What's the worst that can happen? She doesn't sleep with you? Well, she's not sleeping with you anyway. She still wants to, me to give her time and calls me midnight and cries, saying that I simply don't understand her family. <laughs> I don't care. Obviously, he's breaking up with her at this point. I say that she knew what she was getting into when we first started dating. I've never hid in my religious beliefs. I think this guy is finally starting to stand up for himself. Good for you, dude. It's about fucking time. About myself, I finished the relationship after observing all these things I mentioned above. Apart from everything else, we were having a long-distance relationship for the last three years, and it seems like nothing was changing for the better. I was only able to see her for one or two weeks a year at the most. Well, there you go. You should have mentioned in the beginning of the story. For three years, you, you only saw her one or two weeks in an entire year. No wonder this isn't going anywhere. She always has another guy. That's probably why she doesn't want her family to meet you, because they're going to be like, um, where's Joe? What the f these desperate fucking guys. For the last year or so, I focused on myself and lost about 30 kilograms, 66 pounds, bought a new house for my savings, found a new job, got therapy. I'm simply trying to reform myself and clear my mind. Good for you, dude. One small voice in my head still whispers, though, asking me if I should give her another chance. Smack! Well, smack that small voice. And see if things will change for the better or not. You think in five years, nothing, five years nothing's changed? What makes you think it's going to change now? I believe this is simply my heart speaking rather than my brain, and I simply need to learn how to lick my wounds and carry on. Oh my god, dude. What? And then do make the same mistake with some other chick? You need work. You need a mentor. A guy knows what he's talking about here. You don't waste all his time with women. If they want to sleep with you? Then okay, move on. And if it's her culture, but she needs to show it in other ways. It'd be one thing if she was not sleeping with him because of like religion and culture, but she was showering him with love and affection and showing him to her family and being loving and loyal and all these other positive qualities, he's getting nothing. But then again, three years, she, in, in three years, she, he's seen her like one or two weeks per year. What, do you, what the fuck do you expect? But this comes from guys of desperate and no experience. And that's an awful combination. Turn off any woman. If I was that woman, I'd be turned off on this motherfucker too. Now some comments here before I wrap this up. 
Oh, excuse me, not comment. These are more side notes he's giving on the situation to help us more understand. He says, uh, now, some of you guessed it right. She is Muslim. No, she does not wear a hijab. And no, I cannot take four wives and shove it in her face. Please stop asking me this. I'm atheist, was atheist since I was 18. I simply need, I simply read main religious books like the Quran and Bible and, dis and decide it was not for me. I do not judge anyone in their beliefs and I accept all. Though I also expect to be ex accepted as who I am. Yeah, good luck. I live in Istanbul, Turkey. My family is just like me and are non-believers and they simply do not care. I know Muslim women are not normally allowed to marry non-Muslims. Guess what? Muslim women are not allowed to have a boyfriend or even get hold hands with, let alone having some light S-word activities. Yeah, here we are. If you have some religious friends or relatives, you know that not all, not all of them follow everything by the book. Well, clearly. And I think just like, say, Christians, you have people that... There's the joke of the cafeteria Catholics or the cafeteria Christians. They'll adhere to certain beliefs and rules, if you will, and, uh, and they pick and choose. You know, There's different degrees to things. He also said, me and my girlfriend live in different cities. We travel to each other's cities once in a while, but the frequency really dropped lately. And since her family is against all this business and she is secretive, I'm not even welcome w well in her city. I cannot even hold her hand while I'm there. There are so many red flags, suspicious activity with her. My God. Also, I did not cheat on any point during this relationship. Of course you didn't. Not that I not that I think you should cheat. She's just broken up with her. I'm not a virgin, and she is not my first girlfriend, and I was not her first either. You were not her first either? Being that she slept with guys before, but not you? You are a fucking sucker. I forgot about this part. You're a sucker. She was born again, whatever you want to call it, for, for her faith. I slowly, I slowly considered going on some new dates soon, even though I kind of forgot what dating world was like. It feels like things do not change for the better in my absence. With my girlfriend, we never went on holidays together, and I would have liked to do some of those couple things with her while I was still in my 20s. I'm 30 now. Happy birthday to me, so I hope I can get the, the best of my 30s. I waited this long into the relationship because I really love that person. Love that person? You mean that woman? I do not regret what I've been through, even at this stage. The only thing I can regret is that me expecting to be accepted and be who I am by her family, that was a hard lesson to learn. People that do stupid shit always say, I wouldn't change a thing. I don't regret anything. Bullshit. They just, they just say that to make themselves feel better about their bad decisions. If he learns something, it's not a total loss, but he wasted five years with this chick. So hopefully he learns. But what, what do we learn here, guys? If you're one, you're, you have a girlfriend and she's not enthusiastic to be with you and doesn't want to sleep with you, doesn't want you to be her family, and has all these rules, and it's her way of the highway, guess what? This is a bad relationship. It's not going to work. And if you stick with it, you're a fucking idiot. And she knows it. And there are women guys that will keep guys like this around, but meanwhile are having fun with the other guys. So, my God, I'm glad he broke up with her finally. Good, he did something good. But he hasn't learned anything. He's going to be back in the same fucking boat next month. And as for her, I'm convinced that she had there was some other guy or guys. And the crazy part is that she told him that she had had a uh, loving before, but with this guy, none for five years. She's getting someplace else, guaranteed. So anyhow, what can we, we, we there's lots to learn from this story, and I don't need to reiterate because you guys know if you've been watching this, but it's crazy the crap that guys allow themselves to put up with. So don't be that guy, gentlemen. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.